Hey guys, as promised, uh, I said I'll be back with another video today, and uh, here I am. Uh, I am training uh, for a fight coming up soon, so that's why I look a little bit rugged. I got the little workout clothes on. But um, this video is just going to be uh, kind of just answering questions I have from people, you know, very, from the very small people that watch me. Um, uh, just some questions, and I figure I'd just kind of just show it. And just answer some questions about vibrato, uh, my picking technique, uh, my tone, and uh, things of that sort. Um, I'm just going to answer those questions. And hopefully, you know, the little snippets uh, kind of will help you guys, um, you know, as far as uh, improving your guitar technique and things of that sort. And give kind of my, you know, input on some certain things. So this probably might be a lengthy video. Okay, here we go. So uh, please excuse the um, the music. That's my roommate in the background, just kind of uh, you know, um, just I guess just jamming and things of that sort. So I've got you know uh, as far as those three things that I want to uh, answer um, about my picking technique, how long it takes to um, get proficient at something, and the tone and what amp I'm using. I made a video. Um, say about two and a half three weeks ago about you know my amp and what I'm you know doing with it and how, how I get the tone out of it so um, you know uh, you know you can have a more detailed uh, reference when you go back and uh, look at that previous video but I'll go over it here again so as far as um my picking technique um, now uh, after 10 years <laughs> of playing, um, I, I actually like to do both, but if I'm playing kind of like mid-tempo type stuff, and as you can see, this is how I kind of, you know, play and things of that sort. I just mainly use my thumb, my index, and my uh, middle finger. So, okay, very occasionally, I, I might use my ring finger, but most of these three fingers. Okay, so if I'm playing mid-tempo, um, I play with my fingers, and... That's because um, I'm a stickler for, um, you know, making sure I, you know, have every note uh, being hit and not hitting any sloppy notes. You know, kind of like Joe Bonamassa type stuff. Um, because I know sometimes when I play my pick, I might hit that occasional note like, you know, stuff like that. And I'll have to play it off with a cool lick things of that sort so um that's kind of um you know why i put my fingers i just love this soft touch to it free to um, play back the video over and over again to kind of see those licks I was playing. I'm just kind of rambling on it. This is a ramble video. Okay, so um, that's why I like playing with my fingers. Now, um, for a while, I thought that was unique. <laughs> uh, playing with my fingers until I saw Jeff Beck, Johnny Lang, um, many other guitar players play with their fingers too. It's just not me. I, you know, I was inexperienced and so I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing fast with my fingers. You know, things like that. So there's many guitar players that do that. So it's all about preference. And um, uh, that's why I uh, play with my fingers. Now, as far as how long it takes to get proficient at something. Um, this right here uh, is a pet peeve of mine in my personal life. Um, it takes... It takes time to to get to to get proficient in anything, you know. Practice makes perfect. You know, there's it's been said a, a lot of times. It takes like at least ten thousand hours to master a skill. And that's a long time. I've been playing ten years, and um, trust me when I say um, it seems like ten years just flew by, and I'm here now. So it's as you if you stick with something, you keep working on it. You love it. You're passionate about it. 
work on it every day, depending on how many hours you put in, you can get proficient at it, you know, pretty fast, you know. Um, so it, it takes a while, you know, and I'd practice exercises like this every day. You know, I'd kind of climb the neck and work on my picking so I can get better with my picking, right? So I'll do, I'll make sure I stretch my fingers out. sort so um you know um it, it just takes time you know and even with my fingers it took a little while you know i you know practice the pentatonic scale with my thumb and index finger at first you know you know i practice that all the time took a little time and I had to start like this you know and now I can just kind of play that So, um, it takes a while, guys, okay? Um, I, I wouldn't rush anything and things of that sort. Um, so, that's just answering that. Now, as far as the tone, if you give me a second, I'll put my guitar down. As far as the amp I'm using and my tone, um, I'll show you guys here real quick. All right, here we go. All right, so... Here I'm using the uh, Fender Bass Break, 15 watt tube. Okay, not that much, but it does um, get the job done. Um, I really like this amp. Um, if I really play it, uh, shows that's really uh, requiring high wattage amps. I might just extend it to a speaker and really just turn it all the way up, and it still gets the job done. Okay. Now as far as uh, my settings, right? Okay. This is a very, very basic amp, okay? Um, you know, I'd have, let me turn the, I know the light might be in the way, but um, I have the reverb not that high. You know, I have kind of like a, a little bit past quarter, you know? Um, obviously, it's the master volume. You know, I, I like to travel kind of, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit above halfway, then I'll have the middle either here sometimes or I turn it up real here when I'm playing with a strat so I can get that Stevie Ray Vaughan sound. Okay. Uh, in this case, I, you know, I'm, I'm playing with the Epiphone so I kind of have it warm. And I love the bass right, uh, almost all the way, you know, turned up and things of that sort. So, you know, it's a very basic amp, you know, uh, with the gain. You know, if, if you have, the lower you have it, the cleaner the sound is. And I just use pedals, you know, just to kind of uh, get that distortion. And it gets distorted anyway. Um, sorry about the hair, but it gets distorted anyway. Um, so this, this, as far as answering those questions and, um, you know, things of that sort, uh, hopefully this video, the video was helpful. Like I said, um, I was training uh, for a fight, so that's why I've been kind of, a uh, little high haters, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of stuff, so I'm a boxing entrepreneurship, but I love teaching guitar, you know, I've got a couple students, and uh, if you want more videos, you guys like the video, leave a comment below, and uh, till next time.